second law of motion explanation for gyroscopic action. It is an extension of part one. So Newton's second law says that F equal ma, that a force produces an acceleration. If we double the force, then we should double the acceleration. If we integrate Newton's law, we find out that the velocity resulting from the acceleration is directly proportional to the value of the acceleration. So if I double the force, I should double the acceleration. If I double the acceleration, I should double the velocity, resultant velocity, produced by that acceleration. So as a consequence, if I have a gyroscopic rotor that is spinning, initially it has a torque or force generated by the force of gravity. If I increase that force by hanging weights off of the other end, that increase in force should produce a corresponding increase in the acceleration. That increase in the acceleration should produce an increase in the resultant velocity. And the increase in the velocity will produce an increase in the precessional rate. All of those things are directly proportional. So if I double the weight, double the torque, doubles the acceleration, doubles the velocity, which then doubles the rate of precession. So in fact, the rate of precession is directly proportional to the amount of torque that I apply to the axle of the gyroscope. Since the velocity is directly proportional to the amount of time it spends here then, 
If I double the spin rate, I have the time that it spends at the top, and if I have the time it spends at the top, I would have the velocity that that red particle attains towards you. After 90 degrees, that velocity is the velocity that ends up being, that results in the precessional motion of the gyroscope. So if I have the velocity, then I should have the precessional motion. So what does that mean? That means if I double the spin rate, I have the amount of time that the red particle is at the top, that has the velocity that it attains due to the gravitational torque towards you, and that halving of the velocity ends up having the precessional motion. The precession rate, denoted by dot alpha sub minus, is directly proportional to the torque, mgr, and inversely proportional to the rotor spin rate, omega sub 3. Lambda sub 3 is a constant equal to the moment of inertia about the spin axis. Notice that this equation tells us that if we double the torque, mgr, we double the precession rate, dot alpha. On the other hand, if we double the rotor spin rate, omega sub 3, we have the precession rate, dot alpha. <laughs> 